you could be completely unaware that you have this miraculous plant in your garden and that you can use it to treat hair loss. Rosemary, also known as Rosa Maris or Sea Rose is a plant that has been used for centuries due to the numerous health benefits it provides such as regulating blood pressure and treating digestive issues. The Hungarian Queen Isabella, who ruled in the 14th century, used this plant to treat gout. It provided immediate relief and made her skin appear much younger even though she was 72 years old. Researchers have discovered the antioxidant properties of rosemary which improves blood flow, regulates the function of the thyroid gland and also provides a relief from headaches. This plant can also be used to treat stomach issues, as well as during the weight loss process since it is very effective in burning fat. Rosemary can be used for its anti-inflammatory properties when it comes to bronchitis or ear, nose and throat infections. Apply it externally to relieve rheumatic pain, muscle soreness and sciatica symptoms. The ability of rosemary to improve blood flow makes it great for promoting hair growth while preventing dandruff and hair loss. Children must not be given rosemary, and pregnant women must consult their doctor first. It should not be used orally, however putting small amounts of it in meals are allowed. Rosemary leaves and flowers can be used to make a tea which will relax your body. This plant also relieves depression symptoms and menstrual cramps. Here are two recipes that you can use to get the most of rosemary. Boil one cup of water and pour it over one teaspoon of fresh or dried rosemary. Leave the liquid for 15 minutes and then strain it. You should consume two cups per day, however avoid taking it in the evening since it could affect your sleep. Rosemary Tincture Take one tablespoon of rosemary leaves and mix them with half cup of medicinal alcohol. Let the mixture soak for 10 days and then strain it. To consume it, put 15-20 drops of it in a glass of water every day, or as hair loss or rheumatism treatment by massaging it on the affected areas. That's all and I hope this information is useful for you.